Yo, 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 welcome to the Lab TV. I'm your host, Tokyo. And today we got a very special guest. Somebody who is well known in the Mississippi area. Somebody who has been putting other people on, as, as including himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Starsky. What it do? What it do? What it do, man? How you doing, man? Man, just googling, man. What the business is? Nothing, man. Excited to have you in here, man. All right, I'm excited for you having me. Yeah, yeah, man. How you hear about the Lab TV, man? Man, I, I was just looking at um, Jug. I seen y'all did the interview. Yeah, yeah. With him, and then I seen y'all posted me. So I'm like, yeah. man, I'm gonna check out, see who this is, and she, I just want to reach out and network. So vice versa, I reach out to you. Yeah. And, you know, went from there. That was so, man. Now. I I was uh, blown away when you uh, hit me the inbox. I said, like, whoa. Oh yeah, <laughs> already most definitely. Yeah, I appreciate you showing love. Respect the grind, bro. Appreciate it, man. Mm-hmm. It, it's most definitely a grind, man. I'm trying to get like you. No already. Key, no cap, man. You on the way. Yeah, appreciate it, man. So, uh, man, before we get into the interview, man, tell me who is Starsky, man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Mississippi artist, a Mississippi representative from a little dot on the map called Cofferville, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from Old Miss, 15 minutes from Grenada, that area right there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I come from the bottom, mm-hmm. I'm from the trenches, Yeah. and I like to relate to people who from the same struggle that I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Already. For sure, man. So, you uh, you say you're 10 minutes from uh, Old Miss? No, 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 I'm like 25 minutes from Ole Miss, like 10 minutes from Grenada. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so being that close to uh, Ole Miss, man, like, did you used to visit Ole Miss, like, growing up, like, going to the parties and stuff like that? Hell, yeah. When I was, like, 14 or 15, my homeboy, which he went to the NFL, two of my homeboys from my small town, Cofferville, went to the NFL, and um, they went to Ole Miss. So, when they was up there, I was, like, 14, and, you know, I yeah. just go up there and fuck with them, and, hell, yeah, ever since, you know, our niggas just most definitely, I, Oh, that's one of my stomping ground, Oxford. You know okay, bet, 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 man, man. That's crazy. So, did you ever get a chance to perform at Ole Miss or any parties around Most there? Most definitely. I, I done got paid for plenty of gigs in Oxford. Damn. Man. I'm man. well known, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for sure, man. That's, that's what's up, man. So, like, tell me about your childhood, like, growing up in Coffeyville, Mississippi. Yeah, I mean, it was it's, it's like any other hood, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was a little smaller, but, hey, you know, we get it get busy down there, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? For sure. Like, so, like, you know. Anywhere you go, it's, it is what you make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cofferville, like, I love Cofferville. Yeah. You know, people like, why you haven't moved? No, nah, I love Cofferville. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm get cribbed there. I mean, spaced out different places, but Cofferville home. Yeah, yeah, for regardless, sure. Regardless, uh, I can have a $1,000 or I can have... Ten million, yeah, yeah, still yeah. home, bro. For yeah. sure, for sure. That's that's how I am about Greenville, man. Oh yeah. So like, when you go to other cities, man, and you tell people you from Mississippi, like, what's their initial reaction? They be kind of like I already knew that, especially if I've been in spoke. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> in the country, I got a heavy country accent, so yeah. like, you know, they already know. Yeah, yeah. So do you get um people like having this? What's the word I'm looking for? It, it might not be the right word, but like the imagination that Mississippi still stuck in slavery time. A lot, mm. and I be telling them like, I ain't gonna lie, I never experienced it. Yeah, I never experienced a, a, a another race talking down on our race. Yeah, I yeah. not seen more of our race talking down on our race than another race. Yeah, yeah, you know what sure. I mean. So like, I haven't experienced that, and I'm from the silk, yeah. so I can't. I don't, you know what I mean. That's the best way I can explain it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure, man. So you mostly spend a lot of time now in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, I'll be in Atlanta like 20 some days a month. You know? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Boosie out there, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's like the headquarter. We be out there at the mansion a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, you saw on uh, your uh, off the porch interview, you met Boosie through your advisor. So, like, what's Boosie like off camera, man? Because we know Boosie, everybody love Boosie on the internet and through his music, you know what I'm saying? So, what he like off camera? Man, Boosie is a real humble down to earth individual bro yeah like yeah boosie I, I guess like just like you asked me about Cofferville in my hood yeah he from Baton Rouge but it's like we came from the same struggle yeah you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. so we kind of relate we kind of yeah. we are like yes yeah. we got a lot of similarity you know what I mean boost a real nigga man yeah for real I see when somebody like I saw on a couple of interviews where if somebody said they from Mississippi he'll get really excited man you my brother man you my brother so I, I, I could tell he got real, a lot of love Mississippi like his second home you yeah, know what yeah. I mean like Mississippi show boosted love when the days of the five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollar show. Yeah. Mississippi show boosted a lot of love. He got a lot of money through here. Yeah. So you know you never forget that. Just like this interview right here I'm doing with you, I never forget. You yeah. know what I'm saying on the come up. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So that's just pretty much how it is. Straight yeah, up. Yeah. Boosted fuck with Mississippi. Yeah. The long way. Yeah. For real. Yeah. 
So how did that uh, deal work out where you ended up signing to uh, Badass Music Syndicate? And uh, congratulations, too, by the way. Appreciate it, bro. Because um, I know you was talking about you you had a deal with Warner. Still got it. Okay. And then you you and Jug and I think a couple more people was, you know, browsing around Atlanta or something like that, looking at other um, label deals and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, Boos, Boos, how did you choose Boosie? The thing about it is I still got a deal with Warner Brothers Asylum. Okay. It's a single deal, 50-50 deal. I'm still under them right now, you know what I mean? So um, we're trying to come up with something with them too. Actually, we had to get everything together so I could sign with Boosie. Okay. Why, you know, I'm still signed to Asylum Warner. Okay. All right. Um, well, I met Boosie the first time I met him, bro. He heard he heard our music and everything. We're going over songs. He listened to about 15 songs, looked at about five to six videos. Mm -hmm. I mean, he actually listened to all this shit. Yeah. And looked at the video, I'm looking like, damn, you know what I mean? He really fuck with it. Yeah. So he was talking to me about a five album deal and this and I'm like, dang, five albums a little too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it took us for like probably almost a year to come to a mutual agreement on what exactly he was going to do yeah. and exactly what I was going to do by me being the CEO, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So we came together and what he offered me, I couldn't turn it down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I couldn't, I was like, man, ain't no turning back from here unless Let's, let's roll with it, make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. For sure, for sure, man. So, like, did he sign uh, you and Jugga individual, or did he sign your label, YMG? It's more like a, it's a 50-50 split. Okay. And so, like, me and Jug album together coming first. Yeah. But it's more like, you know, we'll probably do, like, three albums, and then we're going to work on another deal. But it's a 50-50 split. That's something that I couldn't turn down. Bruce yeah. legendary, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like... Everything a profit that we do, you know yeah. what I mean. So, this 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 the best spot would fit me. This the best, this the good home for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. So, uh, why why you guys on the label? Do you uh get along with everybody that's on the label? Like, are you did you already know them? Um, no, I didn't. But I met them. I met them at the mansion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pretty much everybody that's on the label. But man, everybody just rocking together. Yeah. It's a yeah. Good vibe when all us together, man. They treat me like they know me forever. You know. What yeah. I mean? So like. It's just, it's just a good vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, everybody fuck with everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? For sure, man. For sure, man. And let's talk about your level, man. YMG. Tell everybody what YMG stand for. YMG stand for you only live. The Y stand for you only live once. Mm -hmm. The M stand for music. Uh -huh. The G stand for group. Yeah. It can be YOLO or yo do. Yeah. YOLO is you only live once. Yeah. Yo do, you only die once. Yeah. Which it means the same thing. Yeah, yeah. You only die, live once, you only die once. Yeah. 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 For sure, man. And how many guys you got on your label? I know you have a girl too, right? Yeah, yeah. I um shout out to um Princess Goodman, um Key Mari, and um I got a little sister named um Young Moolah. Young mm -hmm. Moolah, you know what I mean? Shout out to uh, Master Jug, as y'all know. Yeah. You know, we got a little things going on. Shout out to Too Hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they they gonna get that pretty much together, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. They they like brother, you bump head, you yeah. know, but we're gonna that situation to work itself out. You yeah, know yeah. What I mean? Okay, like, cause, cause I was gonna actually at the end of the interview. Oh yeah. But let me go ahead and get into that real fast since we're on the. So, so you well, a lot of people don't know, but the few people that do know, um, too hot and Master Jug had a little issue going on. Too hot went live. So, as being a CEO, how do you handle that type of situation between two artists who are going back and forth and who are dissing each other, man? Um, pretty much stay mutual to it and let the situation work itself out okay you know what i mean like it, it's just like like i said man it's like two brothers when they get into it yeah you kind of like stay out of family business yeah and let it work itself out yeah yeah so i pretty much gonna let that situation work itself out okay it, it all will come together you know what i mean yeah yeah for sure okay. for sure for sure man that was up man so the, for the people ho ho before you say that mm -hmm. not to cut you off but i forgot I can't leave out YMG Bree, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know, most definitely. Shout out to YMG Bree. Most definitely. Yeah. So, getting back to the label part, man. So, how do how does one start a label? You know, you from Mississippi, man. It, you really don't hear about people who got labels unless they already have been signed, like the David Banners or the Big Crits or the, uh, what's them boys name from Tupelo? Ray Shrimp. Ray Shrimp. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you start a label, man, for those who don't know? That's the thing. Um... It depends on every individual different. Mm -hmm. It depends on the grind and what, what vision you see. Okay. Because everybody can't hold the status of a CEO. Yeah. Some people just rappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? You go you go by the chain, you know. So everybody got a position. Like Everybody not 
made to be CEOs. Yeah. That's something you got to be blessed with, whether you're in Greenville, yeah. Memphis, Cofferville, or wherever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I always knew I was a CEO. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'm going to ask you this. How do you weed out, like, the uh, fake people? Like, just in business in general, you, you got to deal Don't with them. Don't pay them any attention. Don't, okay. Don't feed into no kind of nonsense. You just keep doing what you do. Grind. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, the, the 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 worst part about it is be your own kind. Yeah. The people that prey on your downfall. Yeah. But me, I try not to pay it attention. If it don't, if it ain't no harm in it. Yeah. It don't make sense. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I don't worry about it. Yeah. Just like, and that's that, that's the most part of it with me. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm really like nonchalant as in I really don't care about a lot. Yeah, Especially yeah. nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. Straight up. That was so, man. That's that's the way to be, man. What did you get this heart, man, to like bless people? Cause like every time I brought your name up, people had nothing but good things to say about you. And I know you had a a a, a tough time. I know you went to prison. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I so did a little bit over five years in the Fed. How you don't? How do you let? How do you not let things like that affect you and how you treat people? Actually, that made me stronger. You know what I mean? I always had the heart of. I believe the more you give, the more you receive. Okay. You know what I mean, yeah. like, and like I always, and everybody around me, I preach the same thing to them. You know what I mean. Yeah. So really, you got to like practice what you preach. So yeah. I try to put out, like, whatever I put out, I try to make sure that everybody around me put out the same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean. For sure. Okay. Um, that was up, man. Because a lot of a lot of um bosses don't have that mentality. But like you say, everybody ain't meant to be, you know, CEO. Well, really. Yeah, you can give yourself that title, but you really have to yeah. you know, be that. Yeah. And before I forget, uh, are you still signing people to YMG? Yeah, I'm most definitely. But the, the whole up right now is the situation we got with Boosie. Me and Jug, I am supposed to been turned in mm-hmm. like a month ago. He you know, told me time and time again to turn the album in. We had to be going in, switching this, switching that. Yeah. So, like, we really pretty much trying to get that out the way. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm most definitely still signing people, but. I put it like this. I I got my ear and my eyes open. So like, okay. I'm still watching. If I really just see something, some real serious, I just gotta go ahead and react on the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple guys. I'm I'm gonna just put in your face because you know that it's only the right. It's an opportunity now. You Most know definitely. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I got a couple guys that I would like. I would love for you to check out, man. Most definitely. Hopefully you love them. We'll get to that. Yep. But um, man. So uh, tell me, who are your top five bosses? Of all such time, a, such a just in anything. Pablo Escobar. Okay. El Chapo. Okay. <laughs> Jay Z. Okay. Uh, Said top five. Yeah. Um. Starsky. Okay. Which is myself. Mm-hmm. Um. Who, who else I respected, bro? On the boss level. I had to get to the boss main boosted, man. You okay. Know what I'm For sure. Right like that. For sure. So you said we got Pablo Escobar, El Chapo, Starsky, Jay Z, and Boost. Oh, that's a that's a dope that's a dope top five, man. Yeah, already. <laughs> Why Pablo and El, El Chapo? Uh, I see them in movies. <laughs> I see documentaries on them. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie. I, I like them boys too. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, man. So let's get into your music, man. So what's the name of this project that you and Ju uh got together? It's called Nation Business. Nation you know Business. I mean? Okay. Yeah. GD, yo. Yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Seven four to the world, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. And uh, like, how many songs you plan on having? It's, on? It's, Actually, it's 15 on there, but we, it might be 16 a bonus. Okay. But it's 15 on there. Like, man, Boosie on three other tracks. We got Kivo Money on that junk. Trip Star. Okay. Like, man, this shit hard, bro. Yeah. You know, OG Dre. Shout out to OG Dre. OG Dre from Mississippi? Yeah, he from um, Clark's Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 OG Dre, if you hear this, man, reach out to the Lab TV, man. I'm not ready. He gonna hear it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, so, uh, like, what's the what's the, what's the style y'all going for? Y'all going for the turn up? Y'all going for the streets? Y'all going for the latest? What y'all got trying, going on? Trying to be like versatile. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, we got a lot of melodies. All the melodies you hear on there, cause Jill yeah. used to just straight out rap. Yeah, yeah. Just be like, bro, we got to switch it up. We need some of that shit like dirt or or, or just just in the melody yeah yeah yeah. you know what i mean he was like so we came up i said but this got to be our own sound yeah. our own way yeah so we came up with our own sound man and like shit dope as fuck like 
Straight up. Like, yeah. Me and Julia Allen is classical, like, yeah. I promise you. Okay, bet, bet. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Uh, it's going to be under Badass, right? Yeah, Badass Syndicate. Okay. Badass Music Syndicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, like with this release of this project, uh, have y'all shot music videos? Because yeah, I think we, I saw one with Jill was singing. Uh, we got, um, Cynic and shit, which is on Boosted page yeah. on his channel right yeah. now. That we, I shot the video with Trip Star. It was called Hard for the Nation. We got, um, we got a few videos already shot to a whole lot of, we you know, shot a whole lot of city limits. We got like five or six videos already done. Okay. So we um we get, matter of fact we supposed to do the twenty twenty years with um Boosie probably like next week or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you been to the uh Boosie uh live what is it called pay per view where he had all the women and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. That's hey, it's in our video a clip of that is in the syndicate shit. That's oh yeah, yeah, it now. is. Yeah, we we there. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, have you ever seen something like that? Like what Boosie throwing Man, that in? shit? Like I never been to the to the Playboy Mansion. Yeah. With him, but. I promise you, man, that <laughs> shit, it can't be no different from that. I believe that's wilder than the Playboy Mansion, Ooh, for real. I, I think the I think The Syndicate Mansion is wilder than the Playboy Mansion, man. Like, okay. for real. So, so is, is it filmed at his home or is or one of his homes? Like, no, at, at, at his house. The main house? The, the mansion, yeah. Yeah, the Boosie Estates. Yeah, it's filmed there. Ooh. But Boosie, man, Boosie Creole big as fuck, man. That nigga building, nigga got a fucking football field, a basketball court. Like a amusement park there, and, yeah. he, and he building the same shit with an endo, not indoor and that shit. He got more land that he building endo with, man. Boosie Creel, big as fuck. Man, that shit fly, man. Like, God damn. Up. He won't bullshit when he said he got out of prison and bought land, you know he, what I'm saying? He, hell no. Nah. Yeah, that shit real, for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, man. Uh, So, like, what game have you soaked up from Boosie just being around him? Pretty much like I was saying, bro, we we – we a lot. We got a lot of similarities. Yeah. So we sit there and can freestyle to each other yeah. because we on the same shit. Yeah. He not been through the same struggle. You yeah. know what I mean? So like, it's 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 really like we just have a mutual conversation. Like yeah, yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. Okay, Straight like that. Yeah, I like talking to people like that. Yeah, I'm real saying. humble. Yeah, down to earth. See through the money, the, the jewels, the cars, yeah. all that shit. Like, yeah, have a man to man for sure. For yeah. sure. So when did you start rapping, man? Like, man, I've been rapping forever, man. I couldn't even tell. I just that's something that I just got a passion for music, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who were some of your inspirations growing up when you started? Wayne was my favorite artist, bro. Ooh. Cash Money was, you know, I listened to Triple Six with Cash Money first. Yeah, you know what I mean. Cash Money then hypnotized mine. But I listen. I ain't gonna lie. When I grew up, I listened to a lot of Dipset. I listened to a, like all East Coast shit, State Property. You know all that shit when I was. Oh man. Up. Yeah, Jay Z. So, so, but you know Wayne was just. Wayne was that nigga, bro. Yeah. Wayne was just, he just had so much impact. Yeah. He was that nigga. Cash money yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Was juvenile, you know. But yeah. When Wayne came out, it was just a different. It was different, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, what's one of your uh, favorite Wayne songs? Man. Man oh, which mean, one of your favorite mixtape? They'll be easier. Yeah, I say, um, well, I'm going to be for album wise, the Carter one. But, um, I used to like them squad up joints. Okay. Them joints go hard, mm -hmm. you know, with gutter and nut and all them. Yeah, yeah. Them. So really, I, the drought, I'd say the drought. Okay. My favorite mixtape. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure, yeah. It, it's so hard to pick. It's hard to pick <laughs> one shit, bro. Like, for real. I don't know who dropped more mixtapes, him or Gucci. For real. Yeah, either. It, it's out of one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, when you got to go in the booth, like, do you got to smoke, do you got to drink alcohol, lean? What you gotta do to put yourself in that vibe to? Man, really, it's, it's, it's a daily thing in a way. We yeah. do it on a daily, like, you know, niggas smoke a lot of runs, truffle. Yeah. I mean, drink, do it, be on a lot of drink, but I, be for real, I never uh, drunk with Boosie. You okay. Know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't even know about him sipping, sir. I have, yeah. We done smoke together, but yeah, I don't yeah. know about the drinking. I can't say that. Yeah. But I know we do, you know what I mean? Yeah, straight up. So when you go in there, so you, uh, you be in the zone. Do you gotta hear the beat first? Well, you already got your lyrics together. You gotta punch in. Tell me the no, process. I um, I got to hear it and write. That's, okay. that's what I do because like I don't just make songs to make songs. Yeah, that's why y'all don't see it. I just don't put songs out just to put songs out. Yeah. So I try to make like everything <laughs> count. So every verse I write, I don't write it to just be like, oh, uh, this is uh, now I have to write that shit to be that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know I might have to go back in and then switch some some up after yeah. I listen to it, but. I don't just write to write. Yeah. To just like I'm on this song with Boosie. 
or I'm on this song with whoever. It may be Jug. No, I got to that shit got to count. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you ever get writer's block? Um. Yeah, but no. Nah. It's like a hit and miss. Like sometimes you can get stuck and you just have to leave and come right back to it. Yeah, I done got that before. Okay. But not just necessarily went in a slump. Like I, man, I can't write shit. Yeah. No, nah, nah, I never. Like yeah so um, so i'm actually this uh what keeps you motivated to keep going because a lot of people you know they start rapping or they'll start a label or just anything in general business and they'll come to a point where it's an obstacle that's in their way and they get discouraged what you do i really i try to stay positive in every situation you know what yeah. i mean like my daily lifestyle like i try to stay positive so when you get when you do positive things, you get positive results. Yeah. So I just try to block all that out and keep going. Yeah. Even though things ain't going right, I want to make it right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It could be going bad, but you'll never know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I For try sure. my best to keep it something to make sure I can handle it. Yeah. Me, myself, yeah. For sure. For sure. Do you have people in your corner that can tell when something's wrong with you and they'll motivate you? Yeah, because they be around me a lot. Like, I got a circle, like, we like this, like, you know, from my block to guys that growed up under my wing mm -hmm. or whatnot. Like, yeah. well, they pretty much, yeah, they can tell. Yeah. But, you know, I still try to keep it. You know what I mean? For sure. What's, uh, what you about to say? To a minimum. Okay. Basically. Yeah, what's one thing that makes Starsky upset that just pisses you off? Bullshit. Elaborate. You know I mean? Like, I hate a liar and a thief. You lie a lot and you a thief, stay away from me. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. It'll make you spaz out real. Yeah. <laughs> real quick. So I just try to, you know, and then I really just keep people like that away from me. Yeah. Like, and then, like, people around me know that. So, like, yeah. pretty much, yeah. For sure, man. For sure. Uh, and you brought up uh, the weed situation. So tell me one of your worst high stories. Man, it's just lately. <laughs> man, that fucking that truffle shit, man. Nigga be sleep like, man, like, fuck, bro. That shit just knock you out, man. I mean, that truffle shit probably be some of the strongest shit I've ever smoked, bro, like, in my whole history of smoking weed. Yeah. Like, that shit make you, like, sitting here talking to you, man. Nigga be like, if you start talking to me for a couple minutes, a nigga be just gone. Gone. Like, what the fuck? I ain't never They had put something thing. on this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you <laughs> yeah. do the uh the wax? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. So it's straight weed, bro. Uh, you, you don't do edibles? Yeah, 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 I do that sometimes, but yeah, okay. I don't do that very often. Like I, you know, dip in and out on that. Yeah, you know, just a little straight weed, bro, straight backwoods and, and regular leaf, like natural silver game. Okay, you yeah. a game guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, most definitely. So you, you say you backwoods? Yeah, yeah, backwoods and natural silver game. Okay, which one you prefer? If you just depending had depending on which mood. Okay, bet, yeah. bet. Okay, well, we are gonna wrap up this interview, but I'm hit you with this rapid fire, right? Real fast. Oh, really? So you just gotta. Answer either or, okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. Gold or money? I want that money, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Family reunions or club parties? Man, where have I been to a family reunion? I'm going to the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Being a boss or being an employee? Boss, dad, the CEO. All right, bitch. Steak or lobster? Steaks. I never ate. I hate lobster. Okay. I never ate it, so I really can't hate it. But I don't eat lobster, shrimp, and crab. Oh, you, you one of those people? You don't yeah. eat seafood? Yeah, I love like sardines and catfish. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Bit. And my last question: Getting head or getting pussy? You gotta think. The whole number. quarter. On <laughs> heads and tail. <laughs> Straight up. I gotta have both, man. I can't pick now one of those. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But man, any advice you want to lead to any upcoming artists in Mississippi or? Just anywhere, the struggle, struggle city, state, man. What you want to tell them? All right, man. Just keep grinding and stick to what you know, man. You know what I'm saying? And getting there is the motive. Don't stop. You can't get there if you stop. Just keep going, going, and grinding, and grinding. Eventually, somebody will pay attention to it. Yeah. You know, that's what I did, bro. I just grind, grind, grind till I can't no more. Yeah. I'm still grinding. Yeah. So, you know. You know, reach out to me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's let's support. You know what I mean? We need all the support we can get. We from Mississippi. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're putting on for the sip. It ain't just we saying we from Mississippi. We yeah. really, really putting, actually putting on for the yeah. sip. You know what I mean? I'm still here. That's why, yeah. you know, I'm still here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing but love. Straight up. From Straight North, up. Central to the South. Starsky. Yeah. So how do you feel about people who don't represent Mississippi or put people on, such as Big Crit or David Banner? What's your thoughts? Man, I um, 
I don't know if it's because that was a while ago or what, mm -hmm. but it's like the struggle is real in Mississippi. Like, you know what I mean? It's hard for artists to get on from here. Yeah. And the reason why, my personal opinion, it comes from like we stuck in the mentality of following. Yeah. Instead of leading, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if 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 nothing against bag, if bag say this artist hot, boom, boom, he he on. Yeah. If if if, if if anybody else, in, you know, Memphis, like pretty much what they do, yeah. Mississippi follow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just like, bro, we got to come out that mentality. We got to look forward. Yeah. We, I can't I can't pray on your downfall. Yeah. I can't pray Esco downfall or this, 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 and that. I got to pray that, you know what I'm saying, that just keep going and, and support the hustle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, pretty much I'm going to sum it up by saying is we just got to get out the mentality we in. And try to I mean, do have more support for each other. Yeah. But what, speaking on, you know, David Banner and Crit, um, Boo Rossini, you know what I mean? Like, they they all had a position though to put other people's in position. Yeah. That's what I was speaking on in the last interview. Yeah. So like me, I'm in a position to put people in better positions. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can't knock them for what they do. What they did is what they do. We're gonna do what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. I can't um, do nothing but but rock with that answer. I'm ready. Yep. But yo, this has been another interview with the Lab TV featuring Starsky. I'm ready. We signing up. YMG, badass music syndicate. Yeah, yeah.